بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله إن حديث في معاذ بن جبل رضي الله تعالى قال سألت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أي أعمال أحب إلى الله عز وجل قال أن تموت ولسانك رتم رتب من ذكر الله عز وجل رواه ابن أبي الدنيا وتبراني وابن حبان وهو حديث حسن In this hadith uh, The hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal رضي الله تعالى That is a Hassan uh, hadith That he said he asked the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Which deed is more beloved to Allah the Almighty And he صلى الله عليه وسلم responded by saying And to die and your tongue is moist with the remembrance of Allah the Almighty. And this, uh, as we said, Ruahu ibn Hiban, wa ibn Abi Dunya, wa Tabarani. Uh, our Sheikh Ubaid, uh, a Jabri, rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatan wasi, he mentioned some fawaid, some benefits that he abstracted from Ibn al Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala. First, that this nas, this text, as well as other nusus that tell us about the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, number one, it repels the shaitan, meaning when you make dhikr or in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it repels the shaitan and it belittles him, it, 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 it belittles him and degrades him. Secondly, that making remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it pleases it pleases Allah the mighty and majestic and most merciful. Thirdly, is that making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it removes the uh, grief and anxiety from the heart. Thirdly, or fourth, uh, that remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that أَنَّهُ يَجْلِبُ لِلْقَلْبِ الْفَرْحِ وَالسُرُورِ وَالْبَسْطِ that when a person is truly remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their hearts will um, become, must become uh, happy and will find, uh, you know, this, this goodness and an opening of the heart. Also, he mentions is that by making remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it will strengthen your heart and your body. Also, he mentions that also by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often, that it will bring light to your face and to your heart. And so he mentions many other uh, benefits. Maybe a last one is that it also is a means for increasing your risk, your wealth. But what I want to say, Ahabatifillah, is emphasize the importance of not just making dhikr on the tongue, but make sure you include your heart as well. That your heart is attached to that remembrance of Allah when you're saying, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, Wallahu Akbar. Try to know the meanings of rem the words that you're uttering uh, when you are uttering those beautiful words of praising your Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.